Between the 11th and 16th centuries, the Crusades were a series of religious wars all set around capturing the city of Jerusalem. There have been many interpretations on the big screen, but today I'm going to be focusing on the movies which have Crusaders in them, such as Knight Templars. Which gives me an excuse to talk about the first movie on this video, 2011's Ironclad. Technically not a movie on the Crusades, it stars James Purefoy, who fights to defend Rochester Castle against the tyrannical King John, played by Paul Giamatti. You won't be watching this movie for its drama, good dialogue, interesting characters or historical accuracy. This film specialises in non-stop action, graphic violence and gore. Even the film's theatrical poster caption is Blood Will Run. So I think you get the general idea of what this movie's main focus is on. As soon as they arrive at the castle, the carnage in the film doesn't really slow down until the end of the movie. And that's only because everyone is dead by that point. 2007's Arn, the Knight Templar. The Swedish film based around the son of a high-ranking nobleman, where Arn, from an early age, is educated in the monastery where he learns to fight, and then heads off to the Holy Lands as a Knight Templar to kick ass and chew bubblegum. This film is the exact opposite to Ironclad, where it has fleshed out characters, the plot is actually developed at the pace of a drama, and it's pretty historically accurate. Although I'm no historian, so what do I know? Those of you who are wanting action had better look elsewhere though, as this film explores the values of knighthood and the lifestyle of a monk templar. So in 2008, they released Arn, The Kingdom of the End of the Road, which currently holds the title of Sweden's most expensive film ever made. It's a similar story to the original, with the same cast and main characters, except it's faster with more battles and drama. Ah! 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 1963's Saladin and the Great Crusades is an interesting portrayal of the Crusades from a Muslim Egyptian point of view. It's a pretty well done movie, although the special effects are horribly dated. Like all other movies in this video, it's not very historically accurate, and weirdly enough Saladin himself is barely in the film. If you like foreign films or something a bit different, then this is worth a viewing. Kingdom of Heaven, the 2005 epic historical drama directed and produced by one of my favourite directors, Ridley Scott. It stars Orlando Bloom, Eva Green, Jeremy Irons, Liam Neeson, Michael Sheen and Edward Norton. Yes, Edward Norton is in this movie. He's the leprosy ridden king, but I didn't actually realise this until about two weeks ago. While I wasn't a big fan of the theatrical release, the director's cut really caught my attention as it adds 45 minutes of character development where you actually understand Orlando's and Michael's characters, where you learn about the animosity between the half-brothers due to a grudge over their inheritance. 2010's Robin Hood is another Ridley Scott film. While it didn't do that great in the box office, I still think it's a good crusader movie. Starring Russell Crowe as Robin and Kate Blanchett as Marion, the first 20 minutes with Robin's origin story are great, where you have a cool castle siege followed up by action with Robin and his men heading towards England. The end battle feels more like the D-Day Normandy landings, with horses and a maid Marion in armour. 1954's King Richard and the Crusaders With a movie like this, you have to take into consideration the time it was filmed. While it's historically inaccurate and makes a lot of random stuff up, it's still silly and fun enough to watch and enjoy. You have hilarious fight scenes with Saladin vs Sir Huntington, where Saladin hits the knight with an arrow, but Sir Huntington fights like nothing's happened to him. This movie has some of the funniest unintentional one-liners I've heard in a long time. It's a real classic. Barbarian, don't speak to me in your uncouth tongue. It is a wise man who does not spread too much wisdom. 1967's Robin and Marion, starring Sean Connery as Robin Hood and Audrey Hepburn as Maid Marion. This classic crusader story is one of love and romance, which has some pretty moving and funny scenes. What really makes the difference from all the other Robin Hoods is that Robin this time is an old man, who's still willing to fight but has to deal with several physical restrictions. This does take some time to get used to, but it does work really well. Good God. 1987's Lionheart, starring Eric Stoltz, Gabriel Byrne and a very young Dexter Fletcher. The story follows a young knight who sets out to join King Richard and his crusaders. At first glance, this is one of those movies you would normally find in the bargain bin. But there are some interesting facts. For example, its executive producer was the Godfather's Francis Ford Coppola, and the film's score was composed by Jerry Goldsmith. Is it a good movie? Not really, but it's one of those so bad it's good films. 
1991's Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, probably the best known film in this video, where you have an all-star cast including Kevin Costner, Morgan Freeman, Christian Slater, Alan Rickman and Mary Mastrantonio. Sure it's not a masterpiece, and Kevin Costner's lack of English accent may come off a little funny at times, this is English courage. but the movie still is fun and full of energy with a cheesy larger than life hero and with an even more over the top villain. And that's my video, leave a comment in the comment section down below on which Crusader movie is your favourite, and if you have any suggestions on any other film genres you would like me to cover, please by all means let me know, and don't forget to like and subscribe.